This video is going to talk about characters, strings, and their relationship, and uh, we're going to deal with a little bit of the uh, printf function and uh, talk about that a little bit. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and get started. We know that um, uh, characters is a primitive uh, data type, and we know that uh, we can uh, the character uh, data type can also is also matched up to integers. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little for loop that's going to kind of display the uh, the number, the integer, and then the character that matches it uh, up with that integer. So yeah, we can create a simple for loop for integer i 0, i is less than 130, i plus plus. Okay, and then we can just, uh, I'm going to use the printf statement since we're going to be talking about formatting anyways. And so let's go ahead and say, um, let's just go ahead and print out the integer value here. I'm going to actually give myself a column of um, five spaces. And uh, percent. S should be good. And then we want a new line here. So that should take care of that. And then we can just, uh, for arguments, let's go ahead and print out I. And then the uh, character value. So we cast the uh, character value of I. And that should do it for us. OK, so to get a for loop, we're going to run uh, 0 through 130. And our formatting says, okay, this is uh, create a left aligned. That's what the negative sign stands for. It's create a left aligned uh, column. And in that, go ahead and print this, the uh, value of i. And then for the second variable that we're going to pass to it, and we're going to print the uh, character representation of i. So let's go ahead and run that file. And here we go. We've got uh, we've got the uh, the numbers up to 130, or actually 129. And we have all of the uh, Unicode characters that go with it. Um, now if you notice, the first 32 uh, do not uh, uh, represent anything. So we can go ahead and let's go ahead and change our first number to 32, or 33 as, as our first one. And um, let's make a little bit of a change here. We're going to, instead of going up to 130, I'm going to make some columns here. So I'm actually just going to go up through uh, 63. And so that's uh, 30. It's going to do 30 at a time. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little easier for me to do. And so I'm going to create a string up here. And I'm just going to paste this right up there and give this value to that format string, at least this much of it. And so on my format string, then I can just go ahead and put that format string in here. And uh, let's put my uh, yeah, and so what you're going to see, uh, just leaving it this way, we'll see that the format string is actually going to format our columns for us and do the same things that we just did uh, by putting it into that, uh, putting it directly into the printf statement there. The nice nice thing is we just went to uh, uh, 33 through 62 here. If we want to do more, we could actually uh, expand this a little bit and add a few more uh, uh, things here. So I'm going to actually do uh, add another format string. And then I'm going to feed it two more values. I'm going to do uh, i, oops, yeah, i plus. Uh, 30, and I should enclose that in quotes or brackets here since uh, we want it to add and not just uh, concatenate a string. And we want uh, comma, and we want uh, the character representation of i plus 30. Okay, so we basically we're going to have uh, 
i, i plus 30. And then the other thing we want to do is we want to add a, create this column, make this column a little wider between them maybe. So maybe we want to do a minus 10. Okay, let's take a look how see how that works for us. Okay, so now we have two columns. They're separated by uh, uh, about nine spaces. And so we've got 33 through uh, 62, 63 through 92, and we can do that one more time. And this nice thing is I can just do another, add the format string again. And I'm going to go and uh, wrap that. And then we're going to add a uh, another two values in here. And this will be uh, i plus 60. Uh, character representation of i plus 60. Okay, and so simply we can do that and rerun this file. We'll have three columns going up to 122. And so we've got all of our characters listed up through uh, uh, from 33 through 122. And 122 is Z, so that is the last of our small. Uh, our uh, lowercase letters. And if we look at this, we can see that, uh, so if I were to look, I could compare and say, okay, if uh, if this, the character value of this letter is greater than 96 and less than 123, I could rest pretty assured that it's a lowercase letter. Along those lines, I have a little uh, code here I'm going to bring in. And we'll paste it right in here. And what this code is going to do for us, if we look at it, starts right here. And so I've declared a, a test string, uh, two integer values, uppercase and lowercase count. And um, I'm getting an input, and I'm going to say, please enter a long word, and we'll tell you the number of uppercase and lowercase letters. And so I've actually done it two different ways. If you look at this, um, I'm going to grab a word, and it's called test string. And from the beginning of the word, w equals 0, to w's uh, test string length, up to the length of the test string, I'm going to ch check every character and see if it's uppercase or lowercase. And uh, I wanted to really put it this way because it kind of tells you, OK, it, it is uppercase. That's a method of the character family, and so I'm testing the a char character. So I'm using it one character at a time, uh, testing that character to see if it's uppercase, and if it is, I add it to the u uppercase count. And if uh, the character is between 96 and 123, well, what does that mean? Well, that means that it's a lowercase. The numerical value of a char is lowercase, and then it's going to add it to the lowercase count. So if I run that, it's going to give me the list. It's going to ask me for a, uh, a word or a series of words. I'm going to go um, okay, one for the money, two for the show. Hit enter. OK, and it says we have 23 lowercase and four uppercase letters. Now, in one area, we use the, the method character dot is uppercase. And the second way, we just did a comparison of the numerical value of the letter. So if I want to tell, if I want to look and say, OK, okay how many uh, uh, does, a, does the uh, string have a pound sign in it? I could say, OK, is it equal to you know, the character value equal to 35? And real simply, it would say, if it has a pounds value, the answer would be yes. If I want to say, does this character have a star? I could say, well, is it equal to 42? And right away, it's a yes. So, uh, so simple things uh, about comparison of individual characters and the integer relationship to characters um, in Java.